Welcome to another episode of Is It Rocket Surgery? I'm Jeff Moriarty, here again with Evo Terra. And today's topic is Ultimate Smackdown! iPad 2 versus Kindle Fire, which will live? First up, the iPad 2, a fully functional multimedia faceted wonder tablet from the Apple Corporation. It's a pretty kick ass ebook reader. Really? So I can read ebooks on this as well. I can put in the Amazon Kindle application, Kobo. I've got iBooks on here. I've got four uh, ebook readers. This has Kindle like stamped in reverse emboss on the back. I have a pretty apple. Mine's shiny. I can watch movies. So I can watch movies on here as well. Um, I use this for computing. Right? It's not as as faceted as a laptop, but I can. Uh, do my email. I can read. I can watch video on here other than Flash. Flash. Uh -huh. uh, I can play lots of games, multimedia games, incredible graphics processor, mm -hmm. fully functional. I can pair it to my Bluetooth keyboard and write in a coffee shop. Right. Um, I don't want to do any of those things. I need a device that lets me quickly read things, watch things, listen to things. This is a fantastic media consumption device. Yes, I can check email. Yes, I've got a calendar sync up with Google Calendar. Yes, I have Hootsuite on so I can tweet to my heart's desire and I can even update my Facebook status if I wanted to. But that's typically not what I'm using these devices for. So for someone like me who doesn't want the computing power of an iPad 2, fantastic, very versatile device. Um, the Kindle Fire is a much more inexpensive way to get probably just the things that you really want to do on it, uh, but I would not suggest using it at, in comparison with the iPad 2 for the simple reason that it's, it's, not a, it's not a tablet. Yes, it's based on the Android, an old fork from some time ago, but a tablet, not really. And I think that's the big difference when people ask, should I take an iPad 2 or a Kindle Fire? If you just want to consume media, the Kindle Fire is fantastic. So I own, I own both. Well, I bought both. My wife stole the Kindle Fire and I haven't seen it since, so she really loves it. But if you want to uh, write and create, if you want to do more interaction, if I want to have Skype video chat, uh, if I want to, I mean, I can really use this as a mini computer on the go, my iPad too. Right. Kindle Fire. None of that. It's media consumption and it does really, really well at that. Yeah, yeah. It, it excels at what it's designed to do. I've heard of people who are rooting the device and trying to install other Android applications on there and I, and I think they're all morons. I would agree. So we, uh, our Kindle Fire showed up. We've been Amazon Prime users for a long time. Came with our account in it, got on our Wi-Fi, boom, it synced up. There's all our books, there's all our media. We were watching movies, 10 seconds later streaming and it worked absolutely fantastic. I'm really blown away with the way that 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 Prime streaming actually works. Uh, there's there's no hiccups. There's it, it just seemed to work amazingly well as long as, and, and the beauty of the thing is when you pulled it out of the box, it said "Hello Jeff," like mine said "Hello Evo." It was pretty amazing. Everything was all set up. There was no configuration. I was I was downloading books. I was watching free movies, and it's it just works really well for for that particular instance. Yeah, and the other thing that really works well. Um, let me that back real quick. Sure. You know, the difference between the size, you're not going to get the acreage here, but this will fit into my back pocket. Got to make sure you don't sit down with it in the back pocket. I haven't done that yet. But this is wonderful for on the go and just be able to whip out and check things. And again, this is consumption. This is creation and fully functional. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Yeah, this is the form factor is good. Is it the best form factor ever? Probably not. I mean, it fits in my hand, as you can see, but it doesn't fit in everybody's hand. And as you said, that, that temptation to put it in your back pocket and, and, and wander off is, is great. Um, that will lead to disaster if you continue along that lines. But I'm pretty happy with the device. Pretty solid. So here comes the big question, Evo. iPad 2 or Kindle Fire? I'm a Kindle Fire user. I got rid of the iPad 2. Sorry, Apple. I love the Kindle Fire, but I do a lot more computing, so I stick with the iPad too. Really, it isn't rocket surgery. Hang on a minute, I'm reading some porn. <laughs>